Hello and welcome in this video about matte painting. So I want to talk about digital matte painters and talk about the job, about what I'm already doing in other videos, like, you know, talk about the skills, the job, the profession and all these kind of tips, you know, from the industry. So matte painters is all about 2D representation of a localization. So you have many types. First, you can have some extensions and backgrounds. So basically you can provide something impossible or difficult to shot to shoot. So imagine you want something sci-fi and you want to shoot this. Uh, you can't, you know, it's very, it's on the space, in a spaceship, so you want to extend something. You need, you need a guy to do the, the background. At the same time, if you have a localization in some desert or in some part and you don't have the budget to, to go there, or you don't want to have the budget to extend some buildings or do like some stuff like this, to go in a city. So you do this in a studio and you add digital matte painting to provide this extension and these backgrounds. So sometimes uh, you, you're gonna win time with digital matte painting uh, because this is like not the same resources as a full 3D environment with a lot of effect. And sometimes because it's the very, very last layer of your image, you can have more liberty and you have maybe less perspective. Um, so replacing live action or existing uh, shots or just improve it, you know, that's something GMP can do. At the same time, uh, you want to stay realistic uh, from the movie, from the concept, so you have a lot of discussions with art direction, directors, and all the stuff around the decision of the GMP. Um, basically, your skills are from photography to computer graphic to painting. You can use everything you need to make the image happen. You know, you can draw yourself, you can draw the stuff, you, or you can just, you know, add projection, 3D projection, you can add some photography, maybe you're gonna have some strong reference you can use with, um, maybe if you are a team, you're gonna just provide different type of layer. So the most important is to have good skill communi of communication, good communication skills, because as a concept artist, you, you need those skills to understand what's gonna happen, but as a GMP, you need also to integrate, you know, your work into another type of, uh, of problem in a production problems. So um, you want to make sure your you work is on a good direction. At the same time, the skills you need is compositing, uh, color, perspective, light, depth, lighting. You need to understand all this to, to be sure you provide a, a good image. So you, I say about the teamwork, but I, I have so, some friends that work very individually. They can do everything by themselves. So it's also the type of profession or you can be by yourself and provide, you know, GMPs for multiple teams. You don't need really a team or someone to work with. You can do everything by yourself. Um, so yeah, you need a, a very in-depth knowledge of Photoshop, um, Illustrator, like all the two these softwares you want to you know to to make sure you have one you're very good at so you can manipulate infinitely the image. You want to make sure the image is very controllable and you can change stuff, change the layers, adjust, add, remove, you know, to please all the, all the concept, all the departments and make sure your image is on the good way. Also, you're gonna face clients, creative director. So that's also something uh, from DMP. You can sometimes have this kind of bridge because it's kind of external from some other departments and you make, you want to make sure like you have a good vision and you can add your, your final touch and your touch in the in the overall image. And that's why they hire you, it's to add also something more. We don't really know how to add in this kind of background and can add a lot of value on the image and on the shot. So basically in terms of portfolio, except the stunning art, you know, you need a stunning art to make sure like everybody don't forget you. That that's important for sure. But I think you need to try some so basically you're a good concept artist and you move into GMP. My advice is to bring your concept into a shot, into something moving, into something uh, you want to make sure it's integrated. And uh, maybe you can do a collab with uh, compositors or with guys already manipulating images and need the background to change or need to clean something. That's good to do the GMP. 
so you can do this to improve the work and have a good portfolio, like a living portfolio, not just static images, but something on the movement. You have a camera movement in the landscape and you have your GMP behind, or you have an extension of some space or some cars, you know, you know, you want to, to make sure like all the GMP is living in the, into action. Um, so you can do different type of integration. And if you don't know, ask the guys, you know, about compositing and they can, you know, say, okay, I, I want this kind of stuff, maybe some co technical constraint uh, to, to, to help to understand what's your work, where, where you are going to be integrated. So yeah, that's everything I need to, to say about this. If you have any question about GMP and extension, set extension, all this stuff, don't hesitate, I have the free consultation. And, uh, and yeah, have, um, thank you for watching and have a, have a good day. Thank you.